Lightcurve has a class specifically for dealing with periodograms of time series data. This can be useful for finding the periods of variable stars, for example. In this tutorial, we're going to see an example of a binary star, specifically an eclipsing binary star, uh, which is when one star goes in front of the other and you can see the stars eclipsing the brightness of each other. So let's start with a, an example from Kepler, which uh, will use the pre-search data conditioning, sat flux, and do a little bit of our own pre-processing. And when we look at the light curve, we see that there's a lot of structure. It looks like there's a periodic structure on very short time scales, but then there's also maybe some uh, longer term uh, structure, and then all of this, these dips here to much uh, lower brightnesses. And what we can do is use the periodogram class. So we just say light curve dot to periodogram and we get back a periodogram object. And the first thing you might want to do is just look at a plot of the periodogram. And what you get back is the power spectral density. So how much power is on a given frequency. So for a given number of cycles per day, higher frequencies are over here. We see that there's a lot of power on these scales. So we can look at that in a slightly different view, which is uh, seeing more of the, of the uh, range of frequencies. And we see that, indeed, there's a really strong peak here and here and other places. So uh, that's a hint that we're seeing uh, repeating structures on that, those exact periods uh, with significant power. So we can say, what is the period at the max power? And we find that the period is something like 0.258 days. But we see this funny uh, overlaying of the folded light curve at that period. It's quite, quite common for eclipsing binaries with deep secondary eclipses. Uh, and so we found a harmonic of the period and not the exact one. So you can um, scale up and see, in fact, that actually this might be the, the right period uh, over which to examine the light curve. So 1.03 uh, or more days. But you can see that there's actually maybe a bit of washing out because uh, maybe we don't have exactly the right period. So we can get a bit more refinement by uh, zooming in on that range and oversampling and then plotting the light curve again. And what we see indeed is a much tighter sidewalls of the light curves. Uh, primary and secondary eclipses. So great, we find a period of, uh, of this object that's pretty precise, and indeed we see that this must be an eclipsing binary.